Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are here for episode 45 of our Formula 1 22 My Team Career Mode. We have, I think, four races left in this season. It's coming down to the wire between me and Sebastian Vettel for that Drivers Championship. So if you guys want to see uh, how this shakes down, be sure to hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel but we are here at suzuka and uh stereotypical of the japanese grand prix we got wet conditions and i suck in the rain got a little bit lucky last time in singapore we had a pretty good q1 which was a wet session we were on the intermediates though so a little bit more grip to find but uh you'll see we are going to be struggling here quite a bit we're on our final flyer you can see it's uh lap six uh in this q1 session my strategy for wet races or wet qualifyings is i put the fuel load up really high and i just go out there drive as many laps as i can uh to try and put up the best time usually uh, it takes me a few laps to just get used to the conditions and then by the time i hit the last flyer uh it's 99 percent of the time our best time we're gonna cross the line five tenths up on not our previous flyer whatever our best flyer was before that and we are going to be in p12 so we're going to be in a little bit of trouble here sebastian vettel doing very well with the 140.5 he just took back the lead of the driver's championship uh, after the last race in singapore we underfueled the car we got some damage so we were just in damage mitigation mode uh trying to you know minimize the amount of damage that it's going to do to our driver's championship chances we come in p6 we just parked the bus for the whole race and we secured some points but sebastian vettel with the win i believe he had the fastest lap as well he was able to take back the lead of that championship but into q2 now we are struggling even more as you can see we're in p16 and uh we're not doing too much better than that p16 flying lap we are behind the two alpines there's a haas in front of us uh, the Alphataris are in front of us. It's just not my day here in the rain. I haven't raced Japan in a while. Dry conditions are pretty good at it, uh, but wet conditions, uh, it's a lost cause. So we're just going to try and do our best here. Three tenths up on that previous flyer. And with Sebastian Vettel, most likely going to be starting near the front of the grid. We're going to have a lot of work to do. Thank goodness, though, it is going to be dry conditions for the race it's definitely something that i need to uh work on i'm not really sure how to kind of get better at driving in the wet weather but uh, i still have to try my best anyways because it is really kind of uh hampering our season right now we have this qualifying we have the qualifying in canada that was ruined it almost got ruined in hungary if we went out you know a few laps later singapore we got a little bit lucky i would say or i don't know i just turned it on uh we did have a good race in monza in the wet or at least the back half of the race uh was wet weather but we are going to cross the line here three tenths up it doesn't really matter we're starting in p16 we're not even going to make it into q3 for this one so we're gonna have a lot of work to do uh but japan is uh at least in the game pretty easy to overtake on there are a few good overtaking spots especially going into the final chicane before the, you know the next lap starts or whatever uh sebastian vettel on pole position carlos signs who is having a great season on mp2 charles leclerc p3 but let's get into this race let's see what we could do if we can make our way through the grid and again just try to minimize the damage here that sebastian vettel is going to do to us in this race okay so let's go through all the gears if you can we need to make sure the engagement is okay before the start we're going to want to put some temperature into the tires and brakes we need to keep the engine cool though so don't go too high with the revs all right so um, we're here for the japanese grand prix it's time for the race uh we had an absolutely horrible qualifying and it looks like or seems like i guess that the rain is almost single-handedly ruining our season here uh it ruined our qualifying in canada it ruined our qualifying here almost ruined our qualifying in hungary um you know if it was a few minutes earlier we might have not gone a good lap in uh, in Hungary, but we're starting in P15, where we definitely shouldn't be. Uh, we're starting behind Mick Schumacher and a Haas in front of Alex Albon in a Williams. Now, the good news, obviously, as you guys can see, is that we got dry conditions for this race. 
so hopefully we can just plow our way through the field. We need to come in at least P2. I'm assuming, as usual, Sebastian Vettel will run off with the lead of this race. We're going to try our absolute best to minimize that gap. Uh, hopefully Lando and Carlos Sainz are slow in those two McLarens as they are starting in P2 and P3. Um, my prediction is you should be uh, in the lead, or not in the lead, you should be in P2 um, before we go in for our pit stop. We're starting on the medium tires and uh, then we're going on to the softs. Most people are starting on the soft tires and then going on to the mediums. But we're going to try and dodge all the traffic, uh, get out ahead, and then our soft tires should last a little bit longer as the track should be a lot more rubbered in. But we're going to get onto the grid here. We're going to see what we can do. Sorry, P15. Shouldn't make for an entertaining race, though. A lot of overtaking to be done here. All right, here we go for the Japanese Grand Prix. We got five red lights, and we are underway here. We've got 27. Laps are racing. We got off the line pretty well. Uh, it's believe the driver is trying to go for the overtake. Oh my goodness, a lot of traffic going into turn one. We've got a collision warning with Felipe Dragovic. Trying to go for P14 on Mick Schumacher here. Look at that, everyone's just single file, and then there's us uh, running wide all over the place. Give me a second to get these tires heated up. Going around wide on the hairpin here. We actually could get the move on, uh, who is it, Schumacher right beside me. And we are going to pass. I'm going to turn on that battery. So we're up in the P14 now. We've now moved up one spot on this opening lap. we got Kevin Magnuson up next. We need to get through this grid quickly. So we've got Kevin Magnuson up next here. Maybe we could dive bomb him going into the chicane. He's going to break early. We are just going to squeeze right in there and get the move done. We're up into P13. Now we've got Charles Leclerc in a Ferrari. He's, uh, he's pretty far back for Ferrari. He might have gotten an engine penalty. That's why he's so far back right now. Leclerc now going for the move on. Yuki Sonoda. They're going to lose a little bit of time through this next corner here. And then we could go for another dive bomb down the inside. We could get a double overtake. Is there going to be enough room, though? No, they already take two wide. Oh, Yuki Sonoda has contact. He almost drives into him. We've got to swerve wide. And uh, I think Leclerc is diving into the pits. Yeah, he had to dive into the pits because of that. Yuki Sonoda locks up and uh, goes right into Charles Leclerc. We're going to get the move done on Yuki Sonoda here as he has contact with us. What is this guy doing? Oh, come on, man. Okay, we still got the move done, though. I don't think we got damage. Vehicle condition. Okay, no issues with okay nice. Okay, no, uh, no damage. It looked like he was kind of running wide. Or maybe we are turning into him, but I, I didn't give him enough room, I feel like, in order to make that corner. He might have just ran wide, trying not to lose the position there. Okay, stand by. We see a problem oh my god, no, too. man. Oh, come on. No, please, Mark. Don't do it. Come on. Clutch it like you did last time. We've got an issue. No idea what it is. But let's see if he can fix it. We do have DRS on him right now. See if we can just go sneak around the inside of turn one. No, that's not going to work. we have to wait a little bit. Get through the S sections here. Just going to have to follow him a little closely. Come on, Mark. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. That might be our season right there, man. Crap! Well, we got a DNF. Nothing I could do about that. Uh, we were in P11. We were just outside the points. So only six laps in. And of course, Sebastian Vettel wins the freaking race too, man. Oh my god. So Sebastian Vettel, he's going to score 25 points and he got the fastest lap. So 26 points for Sebastian Vettel. Zero points for me today because of a stupid DNF. Uh, I'm not sure what the issue is at the moment, but I will check after this. Uh, he is now 33 points ahead of us, uh, Sebastian Vettel, which means that we probably have to win the rest of the races, which is going to be difficult. Please, I just hope no rain. 
no more DNFs. I'm not too, too mad because, like, uh, it's not really my fault and nothing I can do. We do have a crap qualifying, but uh, Cody's just said, yeah, you're not finishing the Japanese Grand Prix today. Lando and Max join Vettel on the podium. Should be me up there, but, you know, things happen. It was the MG UK again that fails on us. This was the same part that failed on us at the Spanish Grand Prix. And there's nothing I can do about it because the car is fully upgraded uh, in the durability department. So I guess it's just kind of luck of the draw. All these here is just for next season, but that doesn't matter because we're not having another season of this. And on top of that, we now only have one MG UK to serve us for the next four or five races, I believe. And then after that, we're going to be suffering some penalties. Yeah, so next four races, we're going to have uh, to use that MGUK, which isn't too bad. Hopefully it'll last us and it doesn't fail on us for a third time. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. As always, if you've watched up to this point, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We got uh the usa up next hopefully that is a good race pretty confident in my abilities there hopefully don't have any issues with the car no rain that would be great because we need to win these last four races i think if we're gonna win the championship unless sebastian vettel just has super unlucky races and goes through some dnfs i mean that is best case scenario worst case scenario uh he comes in p2 for the rest of them and we hope for the best but if you guys are looking forward to the end of the season here and to f1 23 content be sure to hit the notification bell so you guys know when that comes out and i will see you guys in the next one have a great day guys